Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of reverse points tips and tricks video and I'll talk about how McDonald's reverse works and how you can maximize your redemptions. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel to subscribe. If you're only looking for reverse tips and tricks videos, there'll be links in the description box below. So today I'll talk about how my McDonald Rewards works and how you can collect and redeem points. So I have some uh, notes right here which I'll go over one by one. So let's start with the basics. My McDonald's Rewards started uh, in November 2021. Uh, so this is a fairly new program. Uh, before that, uh, there used to be a, like in you know, a program where you had to punch uh, the your cup or the sticker and then you would collect like you know those uh, each sticker each time you buy you'd buy coffee so those are gone and this is more modern and everything is done via app so the point or the program starts with 5000 bonus points so whenever you're making your first purchase after installing the app and using the app uh, you are rewarded 5000 bonus right away and then after that for each dollar you'd earn 100 points. So that's the basics of how you earn. Then uh, from time to time, McDonald's would run bonus points events. So, you know, they would give you like, you know, double or triple the points depending on when or what type of uh, promotions they're running. And one thing to uh, note that you know, McDonald's points do expire after six months. Uh, although they say after six months, but when I open my uh, points, then it looks like it's actually uh, it has more expiration date than six months. But you know, it's, uh, the best idea would be to check on your app. And another thing that you know, whenever you're opening your McDonald's apps, you're going to always see like you know deals, uh, different type of deals. Uh, for example, discounted uh, meal or coffee or tea. So that's something uh, to remember. Now let's move on to how to collect McDonald's points. The first thing you need to do, you have to um, install the app from your phone's Play or App Store, and then you have to register. And then once you do that, each time you order something at McDonald's, you have to scan the app uh, to collect points, and uh, your points will show up, uh, will appear on the app. Uh, just one thing to remember here that uh, delivery orders or items do not earn any points. Now let's talk about how to redeem McDonald's points. So in order to redeem you have to open the app and the choose rewards tab and then it's going to take you to the section where you can uh, earn or you can redeem the app uh, points. So for example let me just show you how it works. So here when you open the McDonald's apps on your phone, then you're going to see the tab reverse, which is right here. So if you click on it, then it's going to show you like you know your points history and how many points you have. And then it's going to show you my reverse, which is right here. So if you click on view all, and then here you can see that you know how you can redeem your points. So for example, redeem for 2000 points and redeem for 4000 points. So it's going to show you all the tiers which is available uh, or you can redeem points for. So that's how you can redeem points. Now, McDonald's have, has five different tiers, uh, which is from uh, 2,000 to 14,000 points. And not all items are available on the reverse uh, program. For example, you cannot uh, have some items when you're redeeming points. For example, uh, filet or milkshake or McGriddles. Uh, there could be more items, but these uh, are the uh, three I found. So the tiers are there are five t different tiers. The first tier is uh, tier one, which is uh, up to two thousand points, and the second tier, or I'm sorry, two thousand points, uh, and the second tier is four thousand points, and the tier three is six thousand, four is ten thousand, and five is fourteen thousand. Delivery orders cannot be redeemed, uh, which I mentioned before. Uh, that delivery orders cannot be cannot earn points, but at the same time, delivery orders cannot be redeemed uh, by by points. So that's something to remember. Now I'm just going to show you, you know, uh, what items are available under each uh, tier. So for example, you can see here that if you have 2,000 points, which is the tier one, then you can uh, choose the uh, to redeem uh, coffee, tea, hash brown, vanilla, coke. A cone and donuts then for 4,000 points you have fries sausage cheeseburger latte any size 
6,000 points, you have uh, Mac Double, Mac Muffin, Junior Chicken, and uh, this uh, Mac Sausage. Uh, and for 10,000 points, you have a Big Mac, Mac Muffin, Extra Value Meal, Six Piece Chicken, Mac Nuggets, and Happy Meal. And then the last one is the 14,000 points. Here you have like, you know, the meal, for example, a Big Mac, uh, Mac Chicken Meal, uh, Quarter uh, Pounder Meal. Now, I'm going to tell you how to get the best value for your points when you are redeeming uh, for McDonald's. So the thing to remember that uh, it looks like that uh, tier one, which is the lowest tier uh, right here, it gives you the best value for your points. So what it means that, you know, if you are redeeming for this tier, you're going to get more value per point than any other tiers. And tier five offers the least value. So if you just like, you know, kind of hoard your points and uh, try to look for tier five, which is the 10,000 points to redeem for like, you know, Happy Meal or six big uh, piece Mac Nuggets and Big Meal, Big Mac or, you know, a quarter pounder, uh, which are under 14,000. Uh, uh, so these, like, you know, the last one, actually, I'm sorry, I think I told you this, but the last tier is this. So the farther you go on tier, uh, the lower your points are going to extract value uh, for you. So the best thing would be to get tier one. Uh, so whenever you get like, you know, uh, some points, uh, if you redeem for the items from tier one, uh, that's how we are going to get, get uh, the best value for your points. Now, I checked some items, which items would give you best value. So for example, uh, for, uh, from tier one, you can redeem for tea, coffee, hash brown. Uh, and these usually give you the best value and for example also you can uh, redeem for iced coffee and it looks like right now iced coffee has the maximum value based on the price of the iced coffee so to maximize your uh, you know redemption value f uh, for your points just go with the tier one and it looks like iced coffee gives the best value now one thing to remember that any size coffee you can redeem from whenever you're redeeming something. So small, medium, large. So the best deal you'd get if you are redeeming for the large size, because you know, uh, whether you are redeeming large or small or medium, still you're going to lose 2000 points. So you can get the maximum value when you're redeeming for the large size. And from tier two, uh, it looks like the latte and fries, they have the best value, although uh, if you are going for other items, you're going to lose a value for your points. And tier five is not recommended or any higher tiers, you're going to lose value. But even, uh, let's say even uh, still you want to redeem something from tier five, uh, then uh, it seems like uh, the quarter pounder is giving you more value than Big Mac or a chicken McNugget or a chicken uh, combo. So that's something to remember. Now, this is what I mentioned already, always get the large size because uh, you know, you're using same points regardless of what size you are redeeming. So it's best to get the large size. And then looks like these items have the orts of value in terms of when you're redeeming your points. So try not to redeem for these, uh, which are Junior Chicken, McDouble, and this is value meal. So these are the orts orst of everything. Uh, you're going to get much lower value for your points when you are redeeming for these. So these are the basics of McDonald's, uh, my McDonald's rewards and how it works. And if you are interested, then you can find more information uh, just going to the McDonald's website. Uh, and they have like, you know, uh, they, they have uh, answered most of the questions you might have. But I went through the basics today and hopefully this is going to help you to understand and how to redeem or how to collect McDonald's points. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. There will be more videos coming up so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.